Hi, I'm Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I'm joined today by Kitty Lopez, who is the executive director for First Five. Kitty, welcome back. Thank you, Danny. Um, I think I've interviewed you several times in the iteration of when First Five was first um, formulated and started, and then sort of checkpoints along the way. So. For those who didn't see our first interview, okay. <laughs> tell us a little bit about First Five and then let's talk about where we are today. Okay, um, thank you for having me again. First Five actually is one of the largest investors in kids in San Mateo County. You know, back in 1998, when First Five was created, uh, Proposition 10 was passed and it put a tax on all tobacco products. And so those dollars are supposed to come back to the counties and are invested in uh, young children zero to five, in early learning, in health, family engagement, family support, and then larger system changes. So next year, 2018, we'll celebrate 20 years of existence, and we will have invested and contributed uh, $150 million in our county. Now, every county has a first five in the state, and collectively, that figure is $10 billion. So there's a lot of money going out to help our young kids. So let's talk a little bit about um, what are some of the key programs that you've been able to initiate um, that would not have happened without um, First Five. Well, you know many of the organizations here in uh, San Mateo County that we support, um, and I'll just share a few of those. Uh, Family Connections has a parent participatory preschool. Uh, Gate Path works with special needs. We support them. Life Moves and Peninsula Family Service, they have a child development center that works with homeless kids. Right. Um, Star Vista, uh, Ravenswood Health Center, they have an oral health program that we invest in. We also have invested in the Children's Health Initiative since its inception, uh, making sure that young children have uh, access to health care and, and health coverage. And we've been a partner over 10 years um, in that initiative. Well, you know, and I think I, I love the word partner because what I was really excited about when we first looked at um, First Five as when it was on the ballot as a, a tax mm -hmm. on tobacco, what you weren't trying to be or what first five what was not trying to be throughout the state of california was a program generator you were going to say right. look let's take these dollars and we will be the oversight to ensure that everything we're granting is all working together to one basic metric so we all know that it's doing the right thing and right. going in the right direction but we're going to grant the money to those that do this work best who have the best outcomes who, who know um, what the needs are and have the ability to um to put it into play. Correct, correct. We're not we're not the direct service right. provider. Now some first buys throughout the state are. Right. They're larger, but um, that's not our focus. We do exactly what you say, we'll invest in programs. Right. But part a part of the statute actually, we're the only one that has this kind of mandate that we are supposed to be improving the system right. that helps young children and families through our partnerships in the county. So how do you know you're doing that? Well, we have extensive evaluation. We have a research and evaluation person on staff. Most First Fives do. And all of the organizations have to um, submit evaluation right. reports, and we work with them so that we can try to ensure that uh, they are accomplishing the outcomes they need to and that we need to collectively to, to ensure that children are doing better. So, you know, what's great about this initiative mm -hmm. is you've now got 20 years of experience Correct. under your belt. So some things have worked, some things haven't worked. But what you can say now with, with all truth and with all transparency is if we do X, Y will happen because now you've got 20 years of experience. Right. So what do we say to the next initiative that's coming to say, let's model first five and do something different? Could it be in housing? Could it be um, in another area? What's the thing that you learned most that's going to help with the next generation of this kind of model? Well, I, I think it's, it's, you know, first fives, as you said, we were never intended to solve all the issues right. and problems for young kids. So we do have to collectively partner with local, state, and, and federal uh, agencies to well, ensure... Well, just the fact that you brought those groups together yes. to work together is an amazing yes. feat. So well, that's a win right there. Well, and it's a system. You right. know, here's these little children. They, they require a system of care. So we know that it has to be an integrated system. We know that you have to address 
issues early. Ninety percent right. of the of a child's brain is formed by age five. Right. So it's critical that we start early. We know that when we intervene early with a a, a young mother or caregiver, uh, when they have a child at home. Perhaps they need some additional support and help in the home. We right. know that if we do that early, that can help that child and that family later on. Right, and it's not just about teaching children early or teach or getting access to healthcare early. It's all of it. It's all it's of it. It's support in the home early. Really looking at, at what you what you had explained earlier is ensuring that all of the um, ancillary services, all of the teachings and learnings and um, cooperation is happening at such a Right, because age. because health and education and that family engagement all intersect for children. Right. One of the most common reasons that kids miss school in kindergarten is because they have dental problems. There's a huge oral health need in our community. There aren't enough dentists that take Medi-Cal and Dentical. So we're trying to support our system of care to provide greater support for kids in, in the area of oral health, for example. So have you done any um, sort of findings where, so now some of your children are age 15 and 20 years old that sort of were touched by some of these first five um, organizations and, and initiatives within, like you said, family connections. And um, now they're 15 to 20 years old. How is their life different today than had they not been in a, or an organization that was sort of looking at these integrated services? Well, collectively, we haven't done as, as much longitudinal studies as, as we would like. Um, First Five actually funded Preschool for All uh, back in 2005 before I was there. And we actually have data uh, from, from uh, kids attending two years of quality preschool. Mm -hmm. Uh, with qualified teachers and so forth, and how they're doing as they go into elementary school. They are faring better in uh, uh, emotional development, in their reading skills, in uh, decision-making skills. So we do have data that that, that works. Mm -hmm. Part of the challenge is that um, you know some of the data isn't immediate. Now, we know that investing is, is uh, brings a return on investment. Even right. economists say 10 to 15 percent return on investment if you spend do a dollar. Right. Um, I think the, the immediate impact is not as immediate as we would like, uh, but we have to invest more money and more resources for kids because we know later on that they'll, that those investments will help reduce special education costs, costs that we might spend in other social services or, mm -hmm. or juvenile justice. Right, and I know it's hard to track longitudinally as well yeah. because families um, typically at the um, economic level mm -hmm. that are where you're looking at support, supportive services like ensuring that there's access to dental care, et cetera, they may or may not still be in the community 15 years later. I mean, we obviously have now worked ourselves into a, a place where it's difficult for families to still remain right. in a community right. after right. 15 years. But how can people get involved and learn more about First Five and and what you're doing? Well, since we don't, you know, we're not a 501c3, we can't, we don't really accept money, but but people in the community can certainly get involved in, in their local nonprofits or other agencies that work with young children. They can get involved in their schools. Uh, we need parent voices and parent advocates mm -hmm. for very young children, and I know it's hard for them because they don't always have the time or the resources, but we would love to have them um, you know, as advocates, as we go to city council meetings or at the state level to advocate for young children. Yeah, and I know um, we've only got a minute left, yeah. so um, we'll have to be really quick, but um, not only the funds that you've generated through the tobacco tax, but you've attracted some amazing private funding to do some of this work, like Silicon Valley Community mm -hmm. Foundation. Correct, so correct. what are some of the others that you attracted? And I'm sorry that I'm going to make you rush your final <laughs> answer. <laughs> well, we actually have a great project looking at data. You know, we were talked about that in evaluation in Redwood City. We are working on a, a data sharing project with our health system, human service agency, um, Silicon Valley Community Foundation. 
trying to share the administrative data with a number of agencies to see where are kids and families getting services, where are the gaps, and how can we address that. We have a couple of other foundations, the Packard Foundation, Bella Vista Foundation, helping us uh, jointly do that. We've worked with our local um, health care districts on the Children's Health mm -hmm. Initiative and now an oral health uh, initiative too. So wherever we can, we try to partner with others because it takes a lot of money and investment for kids. Right. Well, thank you so much, Kitty, for giving us um, the 10-minute update <laughs> to, to a really um, important subject and, and really important um, set of uh, information for all of us to know about um, our uh, tobacco tax. So thank you for joining My us. My pleasure. And we'll see all of you next time on Penn Voice.